Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Outlook 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure your Outlook options. Let's get started. So you'll see here that I have Outlook open and to view your Outlook options, you go to the File tab. On the File tab, you go down towards the bottom on the left side in the blue pane and you'll see the Options menu. If you click Options, this will open up your Outlook options. Keep in mind that these affect all of the options for all of your email that you have connected in Outlook, so it's more of a general change to all of your Outlook settings. Right here you see the general area, and the general area shows you different things like your user interface options and how to personalize your copy of Microsoft Office. Right here is Mail. This affects everything within the Mail module, which again is right down here in the bottom left. So you can change your message arrival and what happens um, as far as like playing a sound or anything like that and customize your settings within here. The Calendar Options menu affects everything within the Calendar module over here. You can do things like set your work start and end hours and the days that you work. Okay, that way when you do that you'll actually notice a difference in your calendar of your availability. So that's nice. Over here is people. People shows up with how your default um, things work in your address book. So right here is the people module. Okay, within the people module, you uh, will see that the default name order is first, middle, last, but if you prefer to see it last name first, you can hit this drop down menu and hit last then first. Within the tasks menu, this affects everything within your tasks pane or your task module right down there, and it affects everything with your to-do list. Okay, so overdue task color is red, completed task, if I wanted to say change that to like a green color, I could do that by clicking on that color right there. And again, this affects all of your emails connected to Outlook. Right here is your search options, and you can de uh, change your default search settings, as well as your language settings. So if you uh, want to add a language or remove a language, you can do it using this menu. Finally, we have our advanced features right over here, and these are basically everything that doesn't fit into a category on its own on the left side over here. Okay, And then finally, you have customized ribbon and customized quick access toolbar. You could use this menu to add in or remove commands from your ribbon area up at the top. Finally, down here, you have your Trust Center and your Add-ins, okay, which are your security settings within Outlook. So that's about it as far as your Outlook uh, configuration options. You have plenty of options in there. I do recommend that you take a look inside those options to figure out what menu items and defaults work best for you. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to help you out uh, and respond to you. So thank Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.